Good evening guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. First things first, uh, Happy New Year. I hope all you, all you guys uh, are, are well. You had a good Christmas and New Year. So yeah, and hope you're safe and, and well. Today we're going to be testing these uh, Mark 1 Escort clocks. Okay. And I wanted to, well, my car's not up and running yet. So I uh, needed just to test these out of the vehicle and it's a bit of a hillbilly uh, wiring setup boys and girls please do not wire your car up like this okay right but I've seen it happen right because if we did then we are looking at one serious fire so let's get into it okay so Mark on Escort has your clocks normally have a, uh, a connector looking like this. Obviously, this is the loom side, and that's the the side, the wiring loom for the clocks in question. Okay, so you've got a few wires that you need to uh, that you need to connect, and so you can get things tested. So first, first things first is looking at this brown wire here that's your negative feed so that will go to the negative side of the battery so what I've done here is just put two 6 volt batteries together uh, connect them up I've not long tested it we've got about just under 11 volts so it should be absolutely fine to still run the, the clocks for this demonstration so as I said uh, brown wire is your is your starting point that needs to go goes to the negative side of the of the battery. The next one that you need to look at is the there is a a black and yellow wire. This one here that is your your power or your plus 12, 12 volts. So if you was in the car, that would be switched because you wouldn't want your clocks on all the time. Okay, so I have ran some of these wires. I am using a loom that came from my my car originally. Over the years, it's been chopped, um, cut. So I don't know what some people were doing in the past, but um, it allows me to sort of test these clocks out of the car. And I've only had to cut one additional wire to, to try and um, test these. So, I've connected the positive side, I'll just connect the, the negative side here and connect this bullet connector back up. And if the clocks are happy, we should see some movement in this, uh, in this battery dial. Okay. So if everything's okay with these with these batteries, that should sort of move well into the green. Okay, that's going to be your first indication that you've got your, your wires connected. So the next wire that you probably well, this is the way that I've done it, and this is the sequence of how I've done it is the next wire on the back of the clocks that you need to be looking at is a grey and yellow uh, striped wire. And that needs to go to the plus side of the battery. Okay. That will operate your display light. So on this one that's here, and as you can see, we've got display lights working. So I have just bought some LED lights off eBay. So if you're looking to get some, best thing to do is search for 501 LED Xenon white lights. And they need to be the right size physically. 
So overall, you need to be looking at somewhere in the region of 23 millimeters and the width being nine millimeters and those ones will fit uh, in your dials. Okay, so yeah, gray and yellow wire will get your display lights working. And if we turn the lights off, let's give it a try. Those are, the, those are the display lights working. Okay. So, yeah, grey and yellow wire for that one. Okay. Next one is a blue and white wire coming from your loom. And all the wires correspond, so um, yeah, they all correspond from obviously this side to that side. The only additional wire that you have, which is not used, is a blue and green wire, which is in between the blue and white and your negative uh, and the brown wire, which is your negative feed. Okay, so the next one, like I said, is a, a blue and white wire. And the blue and white <clears throat> should um, illuminate the dipped beam. Okay, so for that one, what we need to do is we should be putting that to plus 12 volts. And you can see that one illuminating there. Okay. Right, next one is the indicators. Now, on a Mark 1, it's two lights, and I'm saying that as if it may not be two lights on any other car, but certainly on here it is. So what you're looking for is a a green, a black and green wire, and a black and white wire. So I've found these the corresponding ones in the loom. I've just used some old wire to extend them just to make it easy. Okay, so the um, the black and green is goes to the negative side of the battery and the black and white is to the positive side and it doesn't work yes it does right just the back connection so yeah you can see that the that the indicator light is illuminated there okay so yeah just to confirm black and green wire negative and the black and white wire is positive okay and those two that will get the indicators working for you right then next one is the charge light so this one from the clocks it is a solid blue wire okay now the solid blue wire will go to the negative side of the battery okay and there you are okay so when you normally start the car that will come on um once the alternator and everything's charging and all the rest of it that will then uh that light would then go out so you know that everything's kind of fine okay the next two are your temperature and your fuel gauge so just to recap if you do your brown negative your black and yellow wire which is your positive that should be working okay your battery should be working as it's as it's shown here okay the rev counter you can't test uh, on a table or bench like this, but I've done um, videos showing how that should, how you can get that to work. So please go back to those videos if you if you want to know how to get your your original rev counter working, especially with like modern 
modern day ECUs. Um, that runs off your speedometer, runs off a cable anyway that um, that's connected to the gearbox. Your oil pressure you can't connect, uh, sorry, you can't test because you need to have the engine running connected and when you have oil pressure that will go up. Okay, so the only other ones that you can really test are your fuel and your temperature gauge. Now your temperature gauge is a is a red and white wire, okay, and that goes to the negative side of the battery. Um, so you in effect what you're doing is you just earthing it out. Okay, so. So like I said, I've just done a, um, just extended these wires, um, just sort of twisted them together. But I, like I keep saying, please don't wire your your car like this. This is just for demonstration purposes. And we should see some movement in that temperature gauge here. Not getting very warm, is it? Yeah, it would help if I put it on the negative side. There you are, and you can see the you can see it going, um, going up. Okay, so yeah, that should that should go on the negative side. And then the final one, uh, the fuel gauge. The fuel gauge, same thing again. Uh, you're earthing it out, um, and that wire is a blue and black wire. Okay, so that's this one. I've had to, it's the one cut that I've had to make, but this would normally go to um, this block connector here. Okay, so if we earth this one out, we should see movement in the fuel gauge, and there you go, straight away, straight up. Okay, so there you are. Uh, that's sort of how you test your, your clocks. Um, so like just just to sort of recap, your battery wire, sorry, your battery uh, gauge, and just to get the clocks uh, connected up properly, is your brown wire, which goes to negative. You have a black and yellow wire, which then goes to positive. Your temperature sender is a red and blue, sorry, a red and white wire, okay, and you put that to negative, you know earth it out don't do what i do and put it to positive and then wonder why it doesn't work um so yeah put that to negative and you'll get some movement in that um, fuel gauge is black and blue and again negative side that will work for you you can't do your oil pressure you can't do the uh the speedo to do your indicators, it's two wires. It's black and green, which goes to negative, and black and white to positive, and that will illuminate. And then you've got your charge light, which is a solid blue wire, and that goes to the plus, that goes to the plus side of your battery. Let me just double check that. No, negative side. Okay, so just to confirm, if you're doing your charge light, it is the negative side of the battery that you put you, you put your wire to, and that will illuminate. And then your display light um, is a grey and yellow wire, and you put that to positive. And in fact, all right. I'm not even sure now, so I'm just going to double check that I have, I have told you that right. Okay, so blue wire, charge light, 
negative side of the battery. Happy days. Yes, so we've got that right. Okay, so that is everything. So I hope this helps. If you guys are unsure as to uh, if anybody needs any help, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, and I'll, I will get back to you. And yeah, I uh, will be putting out some more content soon. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, like I said, I hope it helps. Uh, see, speak to you soon.